Hello everyone. I am Vavo, a student of School of Computer Science and Engineering, KIT, Deem to be University. Today, I will be presenting my paper titled Early Detection of Parkinson Disease as a Pre-Diagnosis Tool Using Various Classification Techniques on Vocal Features. So, uh, this is the agenda of my presentation. Uh, first, I will start with giving you a brief overview of the concerned topic, followed by our motivation behind this study. Then we will discuss about our approach to the problem and we will come to know uh, about various phases in the study including data acquisition phase, uh, data pre-processing phase, feature selection phase, feature extraction phase, um, finally classification and model, uh, model evaluation. Then we will discuss about the classification result and scope for improvement. Lastly, I will conclude the presentation and discuss about the scope for future work. So, Parkinson's disease is one of the non-curable progressive nervous system disorder which mostly occur at the older ages and mainly affect operation related to muscles movement. As it is a progressive disorder, the symptoms gradually start and are barely noticeable. The, system, uh, the symptoms can start from like a normal unnoticeable shaking of hand which can gradually progress to notice, uh, noticeable changes such as slowed movement, speech change, writing change. Uh, or even worse like automatic movement, loss of automatic movement, etc. Most of the symptoms related to Parkinson disease are caused because of the certain uh, neuron in the area of the brain which is responsible for controlling, uh, controlling muscles movement gradually get damaged or impaired which result in the death of the uh, neuron cells. An important brain chemical that is produced by these cells is known as dopamine. When the neurons get damaged, uh, it results in decrease in the level of dopamine which is responsible for uh, like muscles problem. Also the nerves ending in the brain get affected and the patient tend to lose the nerve ending which is responsible for producing the main chemical messenger of our nervous system, neurofibrin. The main cause of death of neuron cells is uh, uh, like that produced dopamine is still unknown, but studies reflect that several factors such as uh, hereditary uh, genetic mutation, envir uh, also environmental triggers such as exposure to certain toxic chemicals, etc., uh, may increase the risk of developing Parkinson disease. So, our motivation behind behind this study, like in India itself, uh, more than one million people per year suffers from Parkinson disease. It is a huge number. Although it is a chronic disease, su uh, studies suggest that early medication can be uh, very much beneficial in controlling the symptoms and uh, uh, slowing the disease to progress to the next stage. So proper medication and proper uh, psychological therapy may help uh, in controlling the sy symptom dramatically. As it is a progressive disease, our project aims at early detection of disease so that precautionary measures can be taken as early as possible to counter the effect of this uh, disease. Coming to our uh, methodology, we first start with uh, uh, we first uh, start with the evaluation by loading the vocal feature data set. Uh, we um, by acquiring those data set and uh, loading it in our study then uh, followed by data pre-processing which involves like uh, uh, filtering the data uh, uh, neglecting the outliers and then followed by feature uh, uh, normalizing the data followed by feature extraction phase where uh, where the relevant features were extracted from the data also to counter the effect of uh, curse of dimensionality problem uh, the feature selection phase were introduced where uh, the features were ranked on based of their importance and the uh, features which uh, plays major role in the classification scores were selected finally followed by the classification phase where uh, like we have prepared the like preparing the training and test data for the model the training data will be used for train the classification model and the test data will be uh, used to validate the model so uh, data set acquisition for our study we used publicly available uci parkinson disease uh, data set the data set is composed of range of biomedical voice measurement from 31 subject 23 of which were uh, 
with Parkinson's disease and eight subjects were uh, the healthy subjects. On average, uh, like six potassium, uh, uh, photonation uh, ranging from 1 to 30 seconds in length were recorded from each of the subject uh, using a microphone which is positioned at like 8 cm away from uh, the source. The voice reading was sampled at 44.1 kHz with 16-bit resolution. Uh, the data set was created by University of Oxford in collaboration with National Center for Voice and Speech. Uh, this data set contains various features such as uh, basic uh, vocal uh, fundamental frequencies, uh, jitter, which is basically the extent of variation of or alteration in the basic frequency from one vocal cycle to the another vocal cycle. Uh, another feature will be uh, like simmer, which is the extent of variation or alteration in the amplitude from one vocal cycle to the another vocal cycle. Uh, also, uh, other features are some harmonic parameters and so on. Coming to data pre-processing, please. The voice impairment, uh, impairment data set is then pre-processed by normalizing the data set uh, by passing it through a min-max scaler to normalize it in the range of minus 1 to 1. Normalization is basically a technique that is utilized as a part of data preparation for machine learning. It is mainly utilized because like for changing the numeric values involved in the data set to a common scale without distorting the difference in the range of value involved. So as our data set contains various features having different range, hence we normalized it so that each feature is scaled to a particular range. Also, we uh, followed by organizing the data in accurate format and separating the feature vector and label for the model tra uh, training and testing. So coming to uh, feature selection, or basically feature engineering phase. So vocal feature data set usually suffer from curse of dimensionality problem, uh, which is a problem like uh, where uh, there is a, a high dimension of uh, attributes of features in the data set. So the model uh, like which tends to degrade the classification accuracy also increases the time constraint. So the classification will take longer time. Hence it is very important for reducing the dimensionality by selecting the relevant features and ignoring those which are uh, which do not play a major role or do not contribute to the classification accuracy so much so a ranking based feature selection uh, technique has been implemented using exiboost so in this technique uh, we assign a score to each feature based on how useful or important the feature is at uh, predicting the output of the given feature vector the significance of each feature in the data set is explicitly computed, allowing attribute to be graded and examined. Uh, the degree by which each feature split point improves the performance criteria is weighted by the set of observations the node is accountable for. Like uh, Then it is used to determine the importance of a single decision tree. The significance of each attribute is then averaged across all the decision trees in the classification model to, uh, like, to obtain the broader picture about which uh, features uh, plays major role in the classification score. So here you can see uh, this is the uh, this is the uh, map of the feature importance. Here you can see at the bottom is that uh, features such as simmer DDA, MDVP, uh, simmer jitter DDP uh, uh, has very little or tends to zero feature importance. So um, so the features in this step, the features which are uh, important features in the selection phase, like the above features, is separated from the to uh, separated from the original data set to create a separate feature vector by ignoring the features uh, which are like which uh, which feature importance is nearly tends to zero, which do not contribute to the classification score. So coming to classification algorithms. In our study, we basically stick with the four uh, four classification algorithms, which are support vector machine, extreme gradient boosting or exiboost, uh, classifier, random forest classifier, and artificial neural network. So coming to extreme uh, gradient boosting classifier. Extreme uh, gradient boosting classifier uh, works by building an assemble of weak learner. Basically, uh, these weak learners are basically a decision tree. It is a assembler based method what is what does it mean by that is like it uh, uses the weak learner to build a better and better model a weak learner such as a decision tree 
is converted to a rather uh, converted or rather modified into a better learner by means of like fitting the weak learner into a modified version of the original data set so uh, a loss function is also defined to keep track of the loss our goal is to reduce the loss function so that the classification score increases hence the precision of the model so uh, our uh, decision to go with the as boost model is uh, used as it is a boosting uh, as boosting is as assembler method for primary reducing bias and also variance in super uh, supervised learning and a family of machine learning algorithm that converts weak learner to strong ones so it is computationally very uh, efficient so here you can see the uh, <coughs> uh, the function where f of x is the function learned by the boosting model in sth uh, iteration by this we are able to fit the current I, uh, iteration model f of x on the residue of the previous iteration so in each iteration the model uh, de develop into a better model coming to random forest uh, so in order to understand a uh, random forest you need to understand what is a decision tree a decision tree is a non parametric model which works on the label data that is it is a supervised machine learning op, uh, approach as it needs uh, data to be labeled so uh, what does a random forest do is like uh, it creates a forest of multiple decision tree uh, each having its own prediction based on certain parameters so uh, where the forest come into the picture the random word here uh, signifies that the 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 forest of multiple decision tree can be uh, like considered each having its uh, prediction based on certain parameters so the param a set of pa uh, parameters is not same for each of the decision tree these parameters are chosen randomly from each of the for each of the decision tree at uh, every split so uh, basically it's uh, that signifies the name uh, random forest so in order to output the prediction the output from individual decision tree is combined for uh, like uh, combined for getting the final output uh, coming to support vector machine in support vector machine what it does with the data like it, it takes the feature vectors and pl uh, plot it as a uh, as a n dimensional space plot it in a n dimensional space where n is the number of features in the data set so uh, the model goal is to find an optimal hyperplay uh, which can like successfully classify the data points into their respective classes so our goal is to like find a hyperplane most optimal hyperplane uh, which is uh, serves as a decision boundary so to classify uh, the models based of their behavior using the support vector so uh, data point falling on either side of the hyperplane can be attributed to different classes coming to artificial neural network it is basically uh, based on the collection of connected units or node called artificial neurons uh, there are uh, basically a uh, very simple uh, artificial neural network will be consisting of three layers uh, one is the input layer which accept the inputs one is the hidden layer which is uh, basically uh, computes and help uh, helping in the computation and one is the output layer which gives the prediction mm -hmm. so so these neurons are uh, basically aggregated into the layers so here back propagation is the essence of neural network training which is basically used to fine tune the weight of the neural network based on the error obtained from the epoch so it first takes the input and propagates it through the uh, multiple layers of hidden layer uh, layer of the network to give the prediction and it checks with the during the training phase it checks with the actual uh, predicted value with the actual value and based on this it uh, back propagates that uh, way uh, it adjusts the weights and bias and back propagate it to like to build a more robust uh, model coming to result and discussion so a uh, performance of various classification approach was evaluated based on uh, means of model precision recall f1 score support uh, 
and also uh, for both the classes class 0 and class 1 class 0 signifies like if the uh, if the subject has parkinson disease and class 1 signifies if the subject does not have a parkinson disease Uh, so precision is the ratio of positive instance uh, to the uh, to the total positive instance the positive instance here is that true positive which is the uh, which has been predicted as positive also it is actually positive so and recall is the ratio of true positive to the uh, instance to total classified instance is known as a uh, recall and f1 score is the precision and recall value are combined to get the f1 score which is the weighted average of both so using this uh, using uh, this uh, performance performance criteria we have uh, evaluated uh, all the models here is the, here is the classification report for different classification algorithm uh, in our study, extreme gradient boosting Xeboost outperformed all the other three algorithms, achieving the highest accuracy of about 96.61%. SVM was second on our list with average accuracy of about 91.52%. Random Forest on the third uh, with 84.74 accuracy, and finally ANN uh, at the last with 81.35% accuracy. So, as you already know, Parkinson disease is a is a progressive uh, neuro uh, neurological disorder. So, uh, it is a chronic disorder, which means it can be cured. But uh, like uh, studies have shown that medication and proper psychological therapy may help in controlling the symptoms dramatically. So, uh, with our machine learning model, uh, we aim to like. Uh, early detection of uh, Parkinson disease which uh, can be detected in the early stages so a person in the early stages may not uh, able to notice any uh, like life changing uh, life changing uh, uh, life changing differences such as the, uh, the symptoms will gradually start with uh, barely unnoticeable shaking of hand but at the uh, later state later stages it will uh, it can be progressed to much severe problem such as like uh, a total uh, like uh, voice uh, voice changes uh, total um, muscles loss of muscles movement etc so with our uh, study we aim at uh, like early detection of parkinson disease so that uh, it can be beneficial for those persons which are, which are in the early stages of this uh, disease so that the disease can be detected in the early stages and more proper medication and treatment should be provided so uh, the future scope of project include that in addition to the voice frequency analysis uh, uh, we can also use like fe uh, features to detect other symptoms like stationary tumor uh, using computer vision etc so this was from our site uh, thank you for your time